Hello, friends. Tony here. In this video, we are going to work with the project, with the events project, but I have just downloaded this application from the Laravel, the Herd. Download for on, is only for macOS and I think is the must have application if you work with a Laravel. Just download this, install, and you are ready to go to create projects. We have Nginx, Laravel Valley, uh, PHP. You can update the PHP to the latest version. Good. Now let's start with a project. In this video, I want to work with the update. So when we click here, this is going to be a link. When we click, we can go to the edit and update uh, event. So let's start by going to the index resources views events index page and here when we have this edit and delete let's add the link and the anchor tag with shreve to b and i'm going to use a route and the route is going to be events uh, edit and we need to pass here to the sign event and let's add also some classes so let's say text to be green 400 and on hover i'm going to change to say text green 600 and let's say edit here save refresh yeah we need to run also the npm run dev so let's say here npm run dev Today's video is brought to you by Cloudways, a managed cloud hosting platform for PHP-based applications. So we have WordPress, Magento, Laravel, and PHP. Cloudways takes over all server management and security hassles to let you solely focus on your business. Their custom stack provides performance boost, managed backup that keep your app safe, and a staging environment that let you test code without breaking live sites. Plus, pre-configured Composer and integrated GI make deployments a breeze and you get a choice between five top cloud providers including DigitalOcean, Vulter, Linode, WSL and GCI. With Cloudways, you not only get flexibility but peace of mind. So if you are an agency or an e-commerce store owner, Cloudways is a great fit for all your managed hosting requirements. Don't forget to use promo code link in description. And now refresh. Yeah, here it is. If I click, we navigate to the events one edit. Very good. Now let's uh, open the create blade inside the resources views events. And I'm going to zoom it till we out, please. And I'm going to save this one as uh, edit. And so edit blade.php. And now let's start and work with this edit. But before that, let's open the event controller. And on the edit edit, I have removed the show method here. I have passed the event for route model binding and say the return type is going to be view. Also, I added the return type here, just to show you. And now let's say uh, we need to be something similar to this one. So let's copy and paste just to save some time. Get all the countries, get the tags. And also here we need to pass the event. And return to the view events edit, not create. And we are OK now. Let's see on the browser if I refresh. Yeah. We have a form, but we need to fill the all the fields here, the inputs. So let's start and work with that. Go to the edit. And first, I'm going to go up here. The action is going to be events update. And we need to pass here event. Now here we have the X data. I'm going to work with that later, but let's say it's here uh, method to be put. And now we need to fill the fields, the inputs here, the placeholder or the title I'm going to remove and say the value is going to be old 
for title and the default is going to be default value is going to be dollar sign event title and let's copy this and do the same for the others not for the countries and uh, cities i'm going to work later so let's say for this address paste it here just change the title to be address ah, okay then we have for the image is going to be empty for the start date let's do the same change the title to be start date and the date paste it here so and date here then we have the start time also so just say here start time what we have others the num tickets okay then we have description here so let's remove this and just say inside dollar sign event description and for the tags i'm going to leave it for later for now let's change the button to say update and i'm going to save this and see on the browser what we have yeah we have this update we have uh, the title the address start date the end date is not here may i may have make a typo here yeah and date like this and now we have that okay okay just let's start and work with the country and the city so for country let's scroll up oh when we have the country now we can use the blade helper which is select selected and is going to be selected only if here we have country so let's say if the country id is going to be triple equal with dollar sign event id if i save now uh, yeah we need to remove also the x model here because we work we use a uh, blade not alpine and now let's refresh we have united kingdom as you can see okay also you can remove this just to save value because we are not working with uh, alpine here and we are okay we have united kingdom so if i go to this one which is which has the counter greece we have greece here this is good now let's work with the uh, cities and for that i'm going to start from here first of all i'm going to add uh, js and let's pass a uh, dollar sign event and city here so this city is now the event city or we can say the city id i think is going to be better and say city id here for cities also we need to get all the cities uh, belong to the country is selected here so we can say js and dollar sign event and here the country relationship and now we need all the cities of this country and if i save this and come here as you can see is Athens, Patra and Zakynthos because all of them belong to this city but i want to be uh, selected the city 
belong to this event. For that, if I go here and so select this one, which is the last, and this has a Zakynthos as a city, but if I see, we have nothing here because this is the first one and it's selected. Now let's change that. Let's say, if I scroll down here and we have a city, I want to say now also here, bind selected and it's going to be selected only if city.id so here we make a city in cities if cityid.id is triple equal with the city id we have up here which is event city id okay now if that is true it's going to be selected and as you can see this is Patra, but we lost the country. Yeah, we say selected country ID, event, not ID, but event country ID. Sorry for that. And yeah, now we have United Kingdom and Liverpool. And if I select this one, is Greece and Patra here. Okay, the last thing is to work with the tags. So let's scroll down and for tags here we have the input the value and now i'm going to use blade helper checked and it's going to be checked only if now here we have a belongs to many relationship we have a tag here but how we can verify this tag belong to this uh, event. For that, let's open the event model and I'm going to create a new method here. So let's uncomment this and I have named this as tag, passing the tag here and it's going to return true or false if this tag's relationship contains the tag we pass here. And with that, now if I save and close this, we can say here it's going to be checked only if dollar sign event and use that relation that uh, method we created which is has tag and pass in the tag we have here okay now if this tag this event has this tag is going to be checked and let's save and let's see as we can see we have bugs here good now let's work with the update and let's change something just to see the results. And for that, we need to go to the event controller. And on the update, we I added the event, but also we need to add the request. And I'm going to create a new request for that. So let's say artisan make a request. And I'm, I name it update event request. Hit enter. OK. Let's use now the update event request and say dollar sign request here and this one is going to be redirect response type okay and we are going to let's open first this one and I'm going to copy what we have close and now let's go to update event request change this to be true and i'm going to paste it what we have in the create just the image now here is going to be nullable okay save close this and let's start and work now and let's say what we have here with tab 9. So we check if we have the image. Uh, but we don't need to say something like this. We need to make some changes. So first I'm going to move up here this one. And if we have a image, first I'm going to delete the image we have. So let's use the storage facade. And I'm going to say delete. 
and pass here the event image. Now it's going to delete and the data image is going to be with a new one. We don't need to say user ID. Now the slack, the event update and the tags and also this one I'm going to cut. And let's remove this also and say something like this. So first we say data equal with the request validated. And then we check if we if the request has file image. Of course, delete that and then say data image to be storage put file events. We're going to upload. Okay. Then I'm going to say data slug is going to be str slug. So generate a new slug based on the title. Then event update the data. That's okay. And then the tag event tags sync the request tags and return. That's okay. So let's save and let's see now. Okay, so let's uh, delete, uh, let's edit this, not delete. So let's go to this first one and I'm going to say first event and belong to the United Kingdom, London. Okay, okay. I'm not choosing file here and I'm going to choose Laravel, Vue.js and Livewire tags. All of them say update. Yeah, we updated that first event. Let's go and see now. We have first event and we have all the tags selected. That is good. Let's change the city. I'm going to say Leicester. Say update. Okay, now if I click here and yeah, it's Leicester. Okay, now let's uh, go back and edit also this one. So I'm going to say second event in Greece is going to be the country and Zakynth as the city. I think we're okay. Let's select Laravel here, update and second event. Greece, Zakynth okay. And we have only Laravel. Okay, friends, that's it about this video. I hope you enjoy and see you in the next one. All the best. Thank you very much.